Let's say we want to use Photoshop to erase these letters and add an arrow in its place. The final result will look like this. To do that, let's go to the composition where the graphics are going to be tracked on. This isn't a tracking tutorial, but I've set this up so you can see this composition. Whatever is in this composition is going to track to the wall. So we don't need this star. I'll make a new solid and put on paint link. And then we'll add a keyframe so that way it's taking in a still frame of the background on this frame. In Photoshop, you can see it has the background. The background is usually a reference, so it's not going to render. If we want to actually be able to paint on this, we can duplicate this layer and paint on that. And now just because it's not named PL underscore background, it's going to render. I'll hide the background just so there's no confusion. And that's it. Now we can start to use Photoshop. I'll use Content Aware to get started on this sign. And wherever that doesn't work, we have trusty clone stamp. All right, not bad. And then I'll just use my eraser to erase everything outside of this sign because I know the lighting changes slightly in this shot. And usually when we composite, we want to be making as few changes as possible to the original plate. So we'll keep it within the bounds of the sign. Okay, good enough. Let's add a new layer. This will act as a paint layer and I'll set this to overlay. I'll turn my background on just for example's sake. And then I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'm using a Kyle Webster spatter brush. You can see it kind of looks similar to the paint that's already on the wall. And that's all we have to do. Back in After Effects, you can see this is already loaded. If we solo this layer, there it is. This keyframe isn't going to persist, so we just need to make it a hold keyframe. And now this is going to persist through the shot. And finally, when we move back into the main composition, our paintwork has been applied to the shot. So it's that easy. No exporting, no importing. Just use Paint Link, add a keyframe, and you can add that to as many places in this shot as you need to without having to manage your files. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. For more info, check out aescripts.com slash paintlink.